Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can quickly add everyone within your organization to your SharePoint site using everyone except external users security group. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Let's say you built out a site, and typically it would be a communication site, not a team site. Um, a team site would assume that uh, probably it's accessible by select few people, right? Maybe it's a private site or something. Uh, so I'm talking about primarily about communication sites. Um, it could be a home site, or it could be one of you know department sites, uh, and you want to share it with everyone within your organization. All right. So let's just say let me navigate to one other site I have in my environment. Let's pick on HR for example. So I build out this human resources employee site. I want everyone to know about this. Um, you know, obviously select few people will manage the content, but everyone should have access to the site so they can get latest news and announcements links um, uh, uh, documents etc etc so how do we invite everyone quickly so all you need to do is click the gear icon site permissions and of course right we have three groups visitors members owners visitors are your read only people members are you add added delete people and owners, you know, essentially admins of the site. So in my case, Mary is maintaining content. Maybe Mary is part of HR, but I want everyone in here. Um, look, if your organization has five people, you can just, you know, type in all the individual names, but let's say you have hundreds or thousands of users. All right. Uh, we're not going to type in all the names, right? So what you can do is this, just click share a site, type in, literally type in everyone. And by default, this everyone except external users group will come up. It's not a group I created, all right? It's essentially a group that automatically exists in your tenant, all right? Uh, and it automatically captures everyone within your organization, everyone except external users, of course, all right? And by default, of course, it gives the read permission level, um, and we can change it, right, if you, if you wanted to, but obviously that makes sense. Uh, it's smart enough, we have this checkbox here, but it's smart enough not to email everyone, so even if you leave it on, nothing will happen, no emails will be sent out, but let's uncheck it just in case, uh, still, and click add, and that's it, that's it. We added everyone pretty much within our organization to the site. Now, I want to high, you know, to, to clarify who this group includes. This group literally includes everyone within your organization, of course, with the exception of external users. So if you have, if they, those users have an Office 365 account, they're part of the group. And it doesn't matter whether they have a license or not, um, still, they will still have access to the site, all right? So they could be unlicensed as, as, as long as they have um, you know, Office 365 credentials, they will have access to the site, all right? Um, so, and, you know, this is not an area you would have access to. Um, usually, if you don't have admin privileges uh, to your tenant, uh, but just to show you, so if I go to the admin portal right now, I click active users. Essentially, it includes everyone who is, you know, all of the users you have provisioned in, in, in Office 365, with the exception of external users. So any external users are not part of this uh, but everyone who is internal uh, with your domain name and, uh, and Office 365 credentials, they will be part of your, um, uh, of everyone group, all right? So a nice uh, quick way to add everyone to your site uh, instead of typing, you know, hundreds of names. Um, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.